Big, bold, and sometimes bad-tempered, bears are the last omnivores you would want to mess with, especially with regard to their cubs. There are eight known major bear species, which includes the polar bear, the brown bear, the North American black bear, the Andean bear, the panda bear, the Asiatic black bear, the sun bear, and the sloth bear. Of all these major species, polar bears, along with Kodiak bears, hold the title of the largest land carnivores, while the grizzly bear, a subspecies of the brown bear, is most notable for its muscular hump at the shoulders, which powers its adept habit of digging for food and shelter. By the way, Kodiak bears are also a subspecies of brown bears. Though the grizzly bear belongs to the family of brown bears, which is scientifically known as Ursus arctos, people, especially North Americans, prefer to call it grizzly bear, or simply grizzly. Scientifically identified as Ursus arctos horribilis, it is characteristically identified by its difference in size, color, and dimension. The size and weight of male and female grizzly bears differ greatly across both genders. A full-grown large female grizzly might weigh up to 400 pounds, about 180 kilograms. Full-grown male grizzlies, on the other hand, could weigh as much as 800 pounds, about 360 kilograms. The shoulder height of females is often capped at 3 feet 8 inches, or a mere 1.1 meters, while the male is much taller, with a shoulder height which could measure up to 4 feet 6 inches, approximately 1.4 meters. When it stands upright on its hind two legs, it could stand taller than a full-grown man as it could measure up to 9 feet 2.7 meters in height, with a total body length of about 8 feet 2.4 meters. These gigantic beasts once dominated all of the western United States all the way up to Mexico and even the Great Plains. However, due to adverse human actions such as mining, oil and gas drilling, land development and logging, the grizzly bear has lost most of its natural habitat. In fact, in the continental United States alone, they've lost about 98% of their habitat, which covered the Great Plains, every land area south of the Yellowstone National Park, and even the Grand Teton National Park located in Wyoming. It further extended all the way across to California, Idaho, and as far as Washington, Alaska, and Canada. Today, they are now confined mainly to areas like Rocky Mountains, such as the Yellowstone National Park, Glacier National Park, Northwest Montana, and some parts of Northern Idaho. The largest populations are mostly found in inland Alaska and North Canada. In these places, they preferred living in woodlands, forests, rocky areas, and habitats located around streams and rivers. Just how old can a grizzly bear get? In the wild, grizzlies could grow up to 25 years old. However, what is more obtainable is that most do not grow past the age of 20. The catch is that bears are such voracious eaters and hence could put on weight so rapidly. A fully grown grizzly could eat up to 90 pounds, about 40 kilograms, of food per day. If you have ever heard the phrase, eat like a bear, now you know where that comes from. Due to their ravenous appetite, they can gain over 2 pounds, about 1 kilogram in weight, in a single day. They are omnivores, meaning that they would eat both plants and other animals. Their diet is composed of leaves, nuts, berries, fruits, and fleshy roots of plants. They especially love huckleberries and service huckleberries. Apart from plants, they also hunt and eat animals such as fish, especially salmon, moose, deer, rodents, elk, bison, and caribou. Grizzly bears are also known to go after domestic sheep and cattle, and this has often led to unpleasant encounters between ranchers and grizzlies. The grizzly has a penchant for digging. It digs up fleshy roots, digs after rodents such as ground squirrels. It digs up dens, especially in hillsides. A good evolutionary development which makes digging easy is its growing of 4 inches or 10 centimeter long claws, which are the size of a man's fingers. Using these claws, they dig up dens for hibernation. Going into hibernation in late fall or early winter, 
they would spend the summer and autumn fattening up by eating only meals with the most calories, such as salmon. It is common for grizzlies to take a bite off the salmon's belly and eyes while discarding the rest. During the hibernation period, which might take seven months, especially for pregnant and nursing mothers, they live off their stored fat. It is also during this period that most grizzlies become pregnant and give birth, sometimes in January or February. Did you know that a grizzly bear could become pregnant and yet delay the implantation of the fetus until hibernation? This is termed delayed implantation. Also, if the bear does not gain enough weight before hibernation, the pregnancy would simply be reabsorbed back into the body. Be warned that grizzlies are not true hibernators, as they would easily wake up when disturbed. The last thing you would want to do is surprise a sleeping grizzly. The outcome could be nasty. Occupying the top of the food chain, grizzly bears have no natural predators, except, of course, humans. Cubs uncared for may also be predated upon by mountain lions and wolves. They currently occupy less than 2% of their original habitat and were excessively hunted to the point that, before 1975, it is said that there were just about 600 to 800 grizzlies in the lower 48 states, even though it is reputed that there was once a population of over 50,000 in North America alone. Thanks to the U.S. Endangered Species Act ESA, of 1975, which protects the federally listed grizzlies as endangered, their population has increased tremendously since then. However, it is still legal to hunt grizzlies in Alaska, where it is considered a trophy. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, grizzly bears are classified as least concern because their current population is considered stable. While a bear would naturally not hunt and eat a human being, there have been exceptions with tragic incidents. Unlike black bears, which cause several human deaths per year in the U.S., grizzlies are less likely to attack a human on sight except when starving, disturbed, or threatened. Females especially would fiercely attack a human if such a person comes between her and her cubs. They are overly protective of their cubs to a fault. And why shouldn't they when almost half of the cubs wouldn't survive past the first year due to starvation, diseases, attacks by adult male grizzlies, and predation by wolves and mountain lions? While grizzlies often avoid people, they are unpredictable temperamentally. There was this report by BBC News on the 14th of August 2015, in which it reported that Yellowstone National Park had to put down a female grizzly bear which ate a lone hiker, which the park claimed didn't follow the park's policies. It was reported that three people have been victim of fatal accidents caused by grizzlies in the park since 2011. This is proof of just how deadly and unpredictable these magnificent creatures can be. It is always an awesome experience seeing a grizzly bear as it roams about its range. The grizzly's brown fur, concave-looking profile, impressively huge dimensions, 4 inches or 10 centimeter long claws, and slow, majestic walks are some of the grizzly's physically identifiable features. Some people are often deceived into thinking grizzlies are slow predators, capable of running at speeds of 50 kilometers per hour, about 30 miles per hour. You would be wrong to think you can outrun a grizzly despite its huge size. The safest thing is to stay away and always carry bear spray if you might be going into a grizzly's territory. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below.